All right, welcome back, man. Welcome back. We got a lot of stuff to do. What I want to do today is uh, several things. I don't know if we're going to get to them, but uh, I want to remove the uh, specific colliders or this these uh, oriented bounding boxes from the sprites. And let's make our own collision components. Since we've got a collision or we've got a component system, let's make our own stuff, you know? You know, man, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and also, let's, uh, let's uh, grab some stuff out of test that we're not using anymore. Basically, the circle stuff, we're not using that stuff anymore. So let's, let's clean this up a little bit. We don't even need to check if the circles collide since they're not going to exist. Uh, right here. So we're going to get rid of a few things. now. No more circles. Uh, we'll keep this stuff, but we will comment it out for now so that all we're dealing with are our two enemy and our enemy and our protagonist, our hero. Hero. Heroes are wonderful and fun, enjoyable. Yes, aren't they? Mom, 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 Um. Also, let's since we're going to create our own. Mm, you know, uh, collision things. Let's um, stop drawing these because eventually we won't even need them or be using them on our little. By the way, these really look cool whenever you don't have them, don't they? They look really neat without the boxes. Anyway, so what, what I want to do is I want to make a couple of changes to. The entity class, I think, um, or my entity module. I always do that, don't I? Get that wrong. We have um, we have some things going on about the components, and uh, it, there are a few things that I'd seen that uh, aren't exactly we're well, little bugs, I guess. One is right here. When we add a component. If um, we've been started, then we call on start. Problem is, we don't tell the component, or we don't set the components started to true. So we need to do that. Otherwise, it'll get called twice, once in here, and then once like an update or something like that. So that's one thing. Um, And then the other thing is we really don't need this stuff because now whenever we, some of this stuff, because now whenever we add a component, we've already got all that covered. Uh, when we add it into our uh, constructor, we call add, and add already takes care of calling on start if we have been started. And if, you know, if, we, if our component's already, already running, it goes ahead and calls it here. Otherwise, it waits. So we don't need we don't need this. Actually, we can let's keep that. We don't uh yeah, we don't need this stuff. We don't need this, 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 or this, and we don't need that. And as a consequence, it becomes just a little easier to do this. And then we have just the update. So if it's enabled, then we update it. Fairly simple, yes. I think so. So I think that's going to help us out. Um, and then something else I want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna rename this to component because this is weird looking. Let's just say components. Let's go say components to add. That's what they are. Okay. Go do a, do a uh, run and we'll get something strange like that. So that would be 95, which is uh, here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Of course, we're going to need to fix that. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, let's run that again and see what we got going on here. Attempt to call a method. Update on new value. Oh yeah, 
some of them don't have updates, right? So we need to say and self dot components of i dot update. Correct? Yes. And now we're back to where we were. Good. Um, there's some other things uh, that as I was looking through this stuff, uh, the entity manager. We actually <laughs> there's there's some things that can happen where we can get I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this. We need to know here's what here's the deal. We need to know if the entity has been has had update called on it or not. So we need to add uh something like this. I'm going to call it updated. It's just going to be a Boolean flag. Like so. Mm -hmm. And um, so then in update, we will say e dot updated. So that entity is updated. And the reason we need to do that is because sometimes you can get something. Oh, actually, the reason is uh, if you'll look here if it's enabled and we have not started then we say okay start great so we're calling on start here and we're not calling update we shouldn't call update yet or maybe we should no we shouldn't everybody should have on start called first as long as they're added in the correct manner so when this is called we don't call update but then in the in the larger loop, the encompassing loop, draw gets called here. And this com this entity that's had on start called but not update has draw called. Well, the update needs to be called before draw all the time. So if if self dot entities i dot updated so basically if update has been called at least once on this entity then we're going to draw so that will allow us to have all of the starts the on start of all of our com our entities called correctly before anybody is updated but we could have a specific you know e EM or entity manager on start and then it just calls start on all of the component or all of the entities that it has. But for now I think this work this should work. Should work. Um so we're gonna we're gonna roll with this. So with that in mind, I want to go also back to um our missile class. So let's let's go look at our missile class. And that is we and test. You remember that we had our entity here and we created it. We created a transform and then the player. And for the missile, we created a transform and the missile. And if remember also that we had this create sprite component. And initially I had surfaced it. We may leave that. We, we, uh, we'll see. We may leave that like it is, but it feels kind of wrong to do that. Because it's a separate component, and we're letting the missile component create that component. So we may come back, depending on how much time we have left, <laughs> and uh, we may um, we may recategorize that. Right? So the first thing I want to do is let's go into the components directory, and um, I want to create a new folder. Let's call it physics. And in there, I want to create a component called Circle, not Crickle, Circle Collider. And I forgot the dot lua. Believe me. Believe me. So we have this Circle Collider. Now, we're going to need our standard things, which would be um, our class. We'll grab that and let's do. CC for circle collider and this circle like so. 
So what we'll want to do is make a uh, we're gonna make a physics object that is a circle collider basically. So we'll do uh, we may not need it, but uh, we'll call a new function. We will do uh, an update. Update. Make show. And we'll do a draw function, of course. We have to draw what we're going to. Well, we don't have to, actually. This will be. We could have this for uh, debugging. And that's going to end up being something like. Oh, and that's the other thing. We'll need an on start because what we'll do is. Um, we'll do something similar to what the sprite does here. And remember, we grab transform component so we let's get that and we'll we'll also grab this assert to make sure that we basically we require we require that the tra that a transform component exists so the circle circle collider component requires a transform component to exist so we grab the transform here <clears throat> that lets us That lets us love dot graphics dot circle, and that's going to be a line, and then we can just do self dot tr dot x self. So we're going to just draw it. It's going to be a, a a circle at this point anyway. It's going to be a circle that is centered about wherever the position of this transform is. Yes. So there's the x y, and then we need a radius. Mm. Now, what we could do is just grab the radius from here, radius, and we could say uh, self.r equals radius. Let's do that. Let's do that for now. Um, and we can comment out the update because we don't need it at this point. So there's a circle collider. Let's see if it works. Let's go grab this. So we're gonna go self component physics dot circle. Okay. And this will be we'll just do CC. Let's make a new CC for the player. And um just give it a radius of 16 just to see what happens. See if it even gets strong. Oh, and I need. Come on. Did we return the circle collider? Nope. Didn't. We just returned a C, which was nil. There we are. And I can see it behind him, um, which means that we wouldn't want to put it after the player gets created. Just like that. And the component circle collider attempt index. Um, so it appears that we're having trouble once again. But see, and this is the prop. This is the problem. You have to get everything. Everything must be correct. Uh, uh, what is it? Correct here. Draw. Uh, so. So it's not getting interesting. Um, it'd be fine. See if it gets in here. Do you start? Oh, and I need to. Uh, Turn on debugging, don't I? Turn on debugging. Debug mode enabled. We're not getting into that. Weird, we just moved it. See, 
That's how temperamental this stuff can be, especially if you don't have it right. Yes, 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 yes. Move this. Move this. Let's move it back. Let's see if we get that call. We do get that call. Let's um I know this doesn't have much of anything to do with what we're looking at, but let's go into the player and I think or actually it might to be honest it might turn that off I don't know what happened there that's weird sure tab fun tab key was doing weird things let's let's surface this and call it instead of a local function let's say a function p dot so let's let's create this explicitly uh, on our I'm afraid that that add might have done something weird uh actually on start let's let me look at the entity so if we add let's go to the entity manager where does uh, where did we tell it it was started this right here where did we we haven't done that oh well yeah, yep 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 so we're not even oh we are right here let's do that after that would fix it that makes sense to start it to say on start and then say started is true Anyway, let's continue with what we were going to do, which is take uh, and say player dot create right like 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 this uh, create 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 the sprite create sprite component forty four oh did we not get rid of that? We didn't self dot sprite equals dot the dot sprite and now we're up to sprite attempt to index field tr a nil value yeah we're getting this is getting hairy i was afraid that this would happen i really was uh, we want to be able to independently of how these are shoved on to our into our entity uh, we want to be able to do it in any order we desire if you know what I mean but it appears that we're having issues with the it can't find the transform component which is strange because it should be it should come in here so we could say print and then we could say uh, component type. Let's do that. We'll see what's getting added onto our transform. See, there's the transform player sprite circle collider. And then it, but then it says, nah, I don't see that. And that's on start. That's after it's everything starts. Sprite seventy six. that's here so wait 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 wait. where where does this where does this occur right there under draw should be fine as long as there's a start is it actually no that's fine this is the stuff that it's asking about but we're we've already ah, we've already initialized it let's get rid of uh, the CC start and let's get rid of this for now so we can focus uh, because what we need to do is focus on what we're doing at the moment now go to the transform component 
No, let's not. Let's go to the sprite and let's see if the on start is called before we get that error. Sprite. It does. Yeah, it is. It's getting called right there. Uh, really funny because that that shouldn't change none of that changes none of that should change because we have it right here let's make sure the entity yeah it's telling it there so and we're adding that transform first let's print self dot entity Let's print this. See what we have. We have a table. So what's the problem? That shouldn't be a nil value. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait for it. Maybe. Yeah, we're getting that. Okay. We might have entity. Let's see. Colon. Let me make sure there's a good thing. That was in um yeah, that was in update. They this was called No, I'm sorry, it was called from draw. So Do this. Let's print itself and make sure it's a table. I'll show you what I've got, and I don't understand it. Right, start. That's been called. So that's getting called correctly. And then I just added this print self in before the call to correct. Wait a minute. I wonder if that's somewhere else too. It's in te it's in test. Ah, uh, that's why. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, of course. All right. We don't we don't need that stuff. Um, that's actually happening right here. Right. But So it looks appears that our, our little entity is getting called <sighs> or we're not That's really strange. Print. Print update there. And print. Act. And actually, well, I don't know what I'm doing. That's not going to give me anything. <laughs> oh, but it does. Rect and rect. Oh. That's why, because <laughs> we have two of these that we're doing this with, and the missile we haven't we haven't we haven't changed him around. So we want to just create sprite. We want to make that a function of the module. 
that is exposed. I want to get rid of that. And then go back to test. Do the same thing. Missile dot create sprite. Sorry. Okay. Now we're good. And you can see the little the circle there, and it should move whenever our little fella moves, right? And it does. It it does indeed. It's uh it's it's, it's doing that correctly. Oh, so, what? If we can make the circle the size of that little fella, it's closer, isn't it? Oh, and um, get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay, so our circle collider is at least the beginning pieces of our circle collider is beginning to take shape, which is great. We don't have any collision uh, things in there yet, but we'll do. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, what we'll end up doing is we'll have some sort of function in here that says uh, collides with or something like that, and then we'll we'll call it. We may even have a physics manager of some sort so that it can give callbacks and whatnot. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, so uh, we'll leave this as a shell. And I think next time uh, we will create the, we'll create a polygon collider. So let's just set up the stuff for that, which will end up being uh, the Circle Collider stuff. We'll just, just take this. We'll, we'll call it a Polygon Collider, so it's a PC. And like that. And we'll say Polygon Collider. And we won't have a radius. We will require also that transform oh, we'll have a draw we'll probably have a update also I'll we'll just leave that in I think we'll stop for now we're nearing the completion of this episode but we have a few things we've fixed a few things um, in our 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 little systems especially the entities in the entity manager that's uh, important stuff and then we've broken out those sprites from the player and the missile and we're doing those explicitly as it really should be done i think i don't i don't think that uh, components normally should add other components to their entity but you know well it, in this case we're not going to do that so um next time we will look at the circle or the uh, polygon collider which will end up replacing those oriented bounding boxes and whatever other kind of collision we want since we have now a separating axis um, collision detection and uh, um, the penetration vectors. So that should be fun, and we'll see you next time.